Hey guys, Top Master here, just uh, in LAX, about to fly out to Spokane, Washington to visit my brother and his wife and participate in Community Day. So, I have some information here regarding uh, Gen 4 content that we need to discuss regarding evolutions. So, please enjoy. So, the evolutions of Gen 4 have not arrived yet to Pokemon Go. So, here's the, what we need to know, who you need to look out for, and candies you need to save. Uh, for these Gen 4 evolutions. Some of the major evolutions that you need to know about is Rhyperior, which is the evolved form of Rhydon. It's probably going to cost 100 candies in order to evolve into Rhyperior. It's going to be one of the better ground and rock attackers in the game. Alright guys, I'm here in Spokane, Washington to do Community Day. Community Day has just started. By my brother's house, there is two spawn points and a park with a with a, a Pokestop. So, probably not going to get too many Beldums, but I'm going to pop an incense and run that the entire three hours. So, we'll see what I can get. I'll show you guys what I get after uh, it's done. And by the way, here are the babies. That's what I'm here for. Georgie, Freddy, say hi. Hi. Aren't they adorable? All right. I'm at this local park in Spokane, Washington. It is called James J. Hill Park. And we've got one stop. we got a couple different spawn points. So right where I'm at is a spawn point. There are two spawn points here and here. And then there's also, I believe, a spawn point here. So I went ahead and lured it up. And when I have an incense going in hopes of us to getting a... A Beldum uh, shiny caught like five or six so far uh, not very many spawn points over here looks like this is a rural part of uh, Washington here but I intense a barboach that sucks all right guys I'm currently driving around Spokane real quick on my brother's car just to see what I can find um, by his house there's not too many spawn points so uh, I haven't been able wasn't able to get very successful with um, catching any shiny Beldums over there so I went to the store real quick and decided to do a little bit of hunting. So let me share with you what I got so far. I uh, can't wait to take all these Beldons back to um, to Cerritos and trade them with my buddies uh, to try and get some luckies. Um, so, so far, I was able to get two shiny Beldums, and this one's a 600 CP. So this is a, it's about a 73% IV. So this is going to be my uh, shiny Metagross. Um, I only had 250 candies. So I evolved my 93% and my 90. Uh, let me show you real quick. Uh, so I evolved my 91% and my 93% um, IVs already. So they have Meteor Mash. Meteor Mash is going to be really good. Um, so initially, Meteor Mash was at 90 for two bar charge. Now it's at uh, 100. So this means um, I did see a chart earlier today that it now becomes it, it is now one of the top five best attackers in the game. And if I can find that chart, I'll add that to um, uh, this page. So um, here in Spokane, I'm just kind of driving around a little bit, see what I can find. If I find a bunch of Beldums, I drive pull off to the side and catch what I can. Um, if there's giant Chinese, I'll do a pine up, um, not a pineapple berry, but a either a silver pineapple or a golden. So uh, hopefully I can get one of these shinies on camera for you. So uh, good luck. Hope everybody got some shinies. Uh, please comment down below if you were able to get a shiny. If you didn't get a shiny, 
Um, so now I know what it's, it's like to be in a rural area of uh, in the country. So it's not it's not easy to play out here. So I uh, just want to at least give my commentary on that. So, all right, guys, we'll catch you guys soon. All right, well, I'm on my way to the airport to leave Washington, and I spotted a Shinx raid. So I decided to call my brother on the way to the airport to take me to the Shinx raid. So me and him are doing this, uh, doing it real quick. Maybe we can get a shiny. Maybe not. Who knows? Uh, I got one already, so now I can get some more candy so I can evolve that guy and uh, have that entry into my Pokedex. So I'll uh, let you know when we're starting to battle it. Now this radius is around the gym. As long as you stay within that radius, you're fine. All right, raid's about to start. He's gonna go down real quick because he's electric, and I got my ground stuff in. So ground on, maxed out, 91% with 15 attack. So especially with me and my brother's ultra friend bonus. All right, Shinx went, Shinx went down. Is yours gold? Ah, mine's a regular one. Yes. Nope, he's blue. Okay. Yeah, we both got regular ones. So, no shiny this time. So, all right. We'll get this guy in the bag real quick. All right, Shinx went down. It's time to go to the airport. So, if anything else happens, in the meantime, I will let you guys know. So, as I randomly click on an Atu, I get a shiny one. So, this is pretty cool on my way to the airport. So, I'm going to catch this bad boy real quick. That's awesome. So, this my third shiny Natu. I caught one in the wild at downtown wild. Disney. Use the last three lanes to turn left onto North Brown Street. Thank you, GPS. Appreciate it. Um, so, yes, yeah, so, you know, I'm heading to the airport right now. And then the second one, I go plus at the Santa Fe Springs Swamp Meet. So, it was random. And then I caught another one here in the wild. This is pretty awesome. So, woohoo! Shiny Natu. All right, guys, I'm in the. To, uh, Spokane, Washington Airport. Uh, it's 4.36 a.m. I was delayed last night about three hours, so I rescheduled my flight to this morning. So, I'll be going into Salt Lake. But in the meantime, I'm walking back and forth through the airport to get my eggs hatched because I wanted to get a bunch of Washington eggs. However, I started opening gifts and got eight alone eggs instead. So they're in super, inc they're in super incubators with 2.4 and 4.7. So I got some walking to do, but my flight, flight doesn't leave for another hour and a half. So we'll let you guys know when the new eggs hatch.
right, so we got our first ever Drift Loon um, in Pokemon Go. So I left the airport uh, to open my game to find out a Halloween event has started. So uh, this will be in today's video after I uh, get it all edited and stuff. So um, you're going to see my whole journey. We didn't get to, I did not get to talk about Gen 4 evolutions as much as I wanted to. Um, actually, I only talked about one evolution from Gen 4. So, um, we'll talk about the evolutions of Gen 4 in a little bit. Uh, the new Halloween, Halloween event is out. Uh, Drifloon is now spawning in the wild. Uh, there's also another uh, ghost type. I'll put that on the screen because I don't recall the name of it um, off the top of my head. But Giratina, the legendary ghost dragon uh, level five, uh, legendary creature, or legendary is out, um, as of 1 p.m., so as you're watching this video, Garatina will be live in Pokemon Go, Mewtwo will have gone away, Garatina is live, so let's catch this Drifloon here real quick, um, I just happened to open my game and see it, so I did not have ch a chance to do a lucky egg for this new Pokedex entry, but... And we'll get this guy in the bag. So, got a great throw on this uh, on this guy here. All right. Woohoo! Pokedex entry, ghost type. So, perfect. And it's 108 berry. Oh, there's a new event too. So, it looks like there's double candies for a lot of things. So, we're gonna be doing as much as we possibly can. All right, Drifloon in the bag. Perfect. So let's see what his IVs are. May not be good. Okay, so it's not very good, but we'll catch a butt a butt ton of these things, um, and we can uh, go and get some uh, some things happening. So cool! Oh, looks like there's a Mawile raid right here. I might just go hit that real quick. See if I can get a shiny. Um, all right, cool guys. Well, we'll get some more. Uh, I'm gonna pu publish this video. I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to stomp that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Ring that bell so you can get notifications. See you guys in the next one.